Marriage is a huge commitment, one that can change your life forever. While the thought of spending the rest of your life with someone you love is a dream come true, it's important to take a step back and ask a few critical questions before considering getting married. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Are they God's will for you? Now listen. Before getting married to someone, it's important that you seek the Lord's face in prayers before saying, I do. This is extremely important, as you can never fully tell the real state of the person you are getting married to. There is nothing as bad as getting married to someone, only to discover many years down the line that you had married a complete stranger. If most couples were bold enough to ask God's opinion about their marriage, there would have been far fewer divorces or broken homes in our society. The problem is this. Many people often tend to seek the Lord's face only after they have gotten married. And once they are married and begin to experience hardships, they run back to God expecting Him to do something. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. God loves you but He cannot force Himself into a marriage you didn't invite Him into in the first place. This doesn't mean He doesn't care. But once you are married, the only thing God can do is to comfort you, but He will not come in to break your marriage, because this will go against His own very will. As the old saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Seek the Lord's face in prayers before accepting to go ahead. If you feel peace within your spirit, that can be a good sign. Number 2. Their vision and goals for the future. Before you say, I do, there's a question you have to ask your other partner. What's their vision for the future? Ask them about the goals they want to achieve. Or are they the type of person who just doesn't care about the future? Because let's face it, you don't want to end up dragging someone who doesn't want to move forward. You need to be with someone who's on the same page as you, who's moving forward, not backward. If they don't have a clear vision or their goals are completely different from yours, you might find yourself stuck with someone who isn't interested in moving forward. You deserve someone who can challenge you and push you to be better, not someone who will hold you back. It's time to get real and ask the tough questions. Number 3. Their Tolerance Rate Before tying the knot, it's crucial to delve into their tolerance level. Ask them about the things they can tolerate and things they can't. An individual with a high tolerance rate will be an ideal partner compared to someone who finds it difficult to forgive and let go. Remember a relationship is all about love and forgiveness. If you're considering marrying someone who clings to every past error, always hold grudges, and refuses to forgive, take a moment to reflect deeply on whether you truly want to proceed with that union. Because you will always find yourself dealing with someone who has an unforgiving spirit. Number 4. Their Values and Principles what types of standards and moral values do they uphold? Let's be real. We all have different backgrounds and experiences. As a woman, you might have enjoyed a wild party lifestyle during your single days. Will you be willing to let go of certain things for the sake of your relationship? And hey, it's not just a one-sided deal. The man you're considering might have his own preferences and hangout buddies that you don't fancy. These conversations need to happen early on not after the marriage. So, let me ask you, what are your non-negotiables when it comes to building a life together? Number 5. Their past. Now, I know what you're thinking. What has the past got to do with your relationship? Well, not every past should be hidden depending on the type of past it was. And I'll tell you why. When you are marrying someone, you aren't just marrying them, but you are also marrying their past. This means the things they've done or engaged in the past can come back to haunt your relationship later, especially if you were not aware of it. For instance, imagine being in a committed relationship, planning to marry, when suddenly another woman appears at your doorstep years later, claiming your husband was the father of her children. Now think about it. How does that sound? Now you've been caught up with a past that you weren't aware of. Some secrets simply can't be ignored in a marriage, no matter how nasty they are. Even though it might be a painful discussion, anyone who loves you will have no problem sharing their past with you. On the other hand, be considerate and calm when your partner is sharing about their past 
rather than being judgmental. Listen and pay attention to them. Number 6. Their Views on Separation or Divorce I'm sorry to say this. Some couples are quitters. I mean, real quitters. The slightest misunderstanding leaves them threatening to quit or file for a divorce. Look, if someone is threatening to divorce or keeps divorce as an option in their mind or glamorizes divorce rather than the possibility of reconciliation, you shouldn't probably go ahead to marry them. You must understand divorce has a lifelong effect on not only you, but also your children as well. If your partner tells you even before you are married that they are happy to divorce or separate if things don't go well, then be careful. You really don't want to be with someone who always has you living in the fear of losing them one day. One great way of checking this is to check how they respond to issues at this stage. When you have a misunderstanding, do they immediately threaten to quit? If the answer is yes, then you are probably dealing with someone who will likely not stand the test of marriage. Never settle with someone who always threatens with a breakup. Number 7. Their faith. Ask about their faith. What and who they believe in. This is crucial because the faith and belief of a person have a direct influence on how they will treat you in the future. Even though the Bible tells us if a person is married to one who is an unbeliever, they can stay together as long as the unbelieving party is happy to stay with them. But also bear in mind that being married to someone who doesn't hold your belief system will be extremely difficult to align with. Imagine wanting to pray in the middle of the night and your partner rolls their eyes. Or you want to go to church, but your spouse would rather stay home. These seemingly small differences can lead to significant problems in your relationship, so it's important you know about the faith and beliefs. Number 8. Their Extremes Ask them about their extremes. Find out about the max they can go when things don't go their way. Check how much anger they've got. For instance, if your partner tells you he has a gun and will be willing to hurt anyone who offends him, then you should probably exit immediately. This shows that they can be rational and have no control over their emotions and anger. You wouldn't want to end up with someone who threatens your life every time. Number 9. Their Response Under Pressure Knowing how your partner responds to challenges and pressure is crucial in any relationship. When faced with adversity, you need someone who can stand by your side, lift you up, and assure you that everything will be alright. However, if your partner tends to back out or withdraw in the face of challenges, it reveals their struggle in handling life's pressures. It's important to consider whether this is someone you truly want to build a future with, as they may not be supportive during challenging times. Pay attention to how they handle stress and conflict. Some couples resort to shutting down or snapping at their spouse when they are under pressure, which is unfair to the other person involved. The real test of a relationship is when there is a trial. If they can't stand pressure or won't be willing to go through with you in tough seasons, then simply back out. They are not the ones for you. Number 10. Their view on submissiveness. Yes, the Bible does tell us in the book of Ephesians to be submissive to one another. This rule applies to both male and female. But if your partner only expects you to be the one being submissive but refuses to be submissive themselves, it's a cause for concern. This one-sided expectation raises a red flag and requires thoughtful consideration. Number 11. Their view about money. Before getting married, it's important to get your partner's perspective about how they view money as a whole. Are they open-handed and willing to share? Are they stingy by default? Or are they very free-giving? Can they break their principles because of money? For example, if you are getting married to a woman and you aren't wealthy enough, will she have the tendency to leave you for a much richer man? If you lost your job, can they stay with you? If your partner's response is no, it means your relationship is one of convenience and you might not want to carry on to get married unless they change their views. A real marriage should be based on truth and not just because of money. If someone can't stand with you when you are down, they shouldn't be with you when you are up. Number 12. Their views on parenting and raising children. This is crucial. It's very important to find out how your spouse to be views children. Unfortunately, some people don't like the sound of crying babies. If you want to raise children, 
You wouldn't want to be with someone who has no love for children. Ask them about kids they've interacted with. Look at how they treat children in general. Do they show love or do they show a sense of hatred towards them? Will they be willing to support you during the process, or will they abandon you alone to bear the cross? This is especially crucial for women. If you marry a man who just doesn't care about children, that man will let you carry all the responsibilities. This is why we have so many burnt-out women today. They married lazy men who just didn't care about children, leaving the woman to carry the entire weight. It shouldn't be so. Number 13. Underlying health issues or family history. Well, as the old saying goes, we can't choose our families. As it happens, sometimes a person might be born into a family with challenging health issues. This alone isn't enough not to go ahead with the marriage, but you should consider if you will be happy to live with them and show them love unconditionally despite their health challenges. Apart from that, it is also helpful that you consider if their health status will risk affecting your children as a whole. Children shouldn't have to suffer the consequence. Check your blood group types. Check if any underlying health issues can be managed medically. Number 14. Their views and expectations around intimacy and sex. Couples don't often have the same drives. It happens that you might be planning to marry someone who has a totally different drive from you. And because your expectations are different, there might be a disappointment if the other person has a much different drive from yours. For example, after birth, a woman's body might not have the capacity for intimacy for the time being. Will you as a man be willing to bear with her patiently, or will you be the type of man who wouldn't consider her feelings? It is important to have an honest conversation down the line about expectations. If you are sick, are they capable of waiting till you recover? Are they obsessed with the subject of sex? Can they remain faithful in your absence if someone else offered them their body? Asking these questions before you get married may seem tough, but it will help you make informed decisions about your future. Remember, marriage is an investment, and it requires hard work, time, and lots of love. Make sure you are both on the same page and heading in the same direction. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel.